welcome to your dream one is interpretation how are you doing today i'm paul s joshua i'm glad to be here to interpret the dreams that you sent to me and i want to say compliment of the season god bless you all thank you for all your messages your good messages and the season greetings i appreciate that so much and the lord bless you and uh i'm gonna start very quickly but before then those of you are watching this channel for the first time please you can subscribe to this channel it's all about dream and interpretation you have a dream bothering you drop it at the comment section and i will uh, and do the dream for you at my free time but don't forget the three rules you tell me your name number two where you're sending your dream from and number three try to make your dream brief in other words you summarize so i can go straight to address your dream okay god bless you i'll begin very quickly today with a dream that came from um is it bira bira jitrest uh, i think from uganda also um, uh, you said this program has been a blessing to you and you are new here oh i'm glad to have you on this channel and uh, you said that uh, You've been dreaming of eating feces and that is an uh, eating feces tool in other words now when you dream of eating feces you have to be very careful you have to pray because that has to do with uh, criticism coming for you as passions coming for you you're going to battle with a lot of criticism people are going to insult you you're going to receive a lot of insultive remarks okay um, and these are going to be very repulsive remarks that you might not really like okay so you got to be very careful and watch your way because that is exactly what God is showing you for you to begin to see that you are eating physics means people speaking all kind of bad things towards you people criticizing you people saying all manner of evil towards you so you have to be very careful and get yourself prepared for terrible and dangerous criticism that are coming people want to fight you and speak all manner of stuff against you so get prepared to contend with that and God will help you in Jesus name good that's your dream from Uganda Bira Jetres all right uh, the next dream is from uh, um let me see the next person quickly and that is um kelly uh kelly from malaysia you say thank you pastor for your good work uh pastor i had a dream that i am following my pastor asking him to give me my destiny all right uh, uh kelly i don't know the kind of church you attend but in this case where you have seen your pastor and you're saying give me my destiny means uh, in some cases not every pastor these days are really men of god but there are some ministers nowadays um, who profess to be pastors of God, but they are more or less agent of the darkness. And actually, this is what some of them do. They take away people's destiny. So in this case, where you are seeing yourself going after that person asking for your destiny means that something is wrong in that place you fellowship. You need to watch your way and know the kind of pastor you are following. Possibly they have taken away something precious from your life that you need to be recovered. So you need to pray that anyone that take my destiny, I must recover it, okay? And that's very important, Kelly. So mind, I don't know the kind of church you worship. I don't know the kind of pastor you are under. Okay, but for you to have this dream, if your pastor is not soft, the, the one you can guarantee the integrity, then ask God to give you back your integrity and not just integrity, your destiny, or you might likely need to pray more and ask for more confirmation and may likely need to seek other places where you can serve God better. Okay, I am not guaranteeing any pastor these days. I can't guarantee any pastor these days because most pastors now are criminals. So you've got to be very careful. All right, you've got to be very careful where you fellowship. Most people, most ministers, so-called pastors, take people's destiny, steal people's destiny. They use people's destiny. So we've got to be careful where we fellowship and where you fellowship. So please, from your dream, you must watch your way and be very careful. Kelly, God bless you. That's your dream all the way from Malaysia. No one will steal your destiny in Jesus' name. God bless you. All right, and uh, let me quickly pick the next one. Uh, the next dream is from Nigeria. Uh, that is, uh, is it uh, Lizzie from Nigeria? Please help me with this interpretation. I saw myself with my manager at work. He just hugged me and I and say if I close from work, he has something to tell me. People were people were now happy, most especially my coworkers, saying the man is good. I should just accept him. Then I saw myself in the village where people stay in group, but instead me to stay in the single group. I joined the married once, then people began to ask me, where's my wedding ring? I have to quickly borrow it from another woman who gave me earring and then it looked like a ring. I put it on my finger. All right, um, uh, Lizzie from Nigeria here. Uh, it might not necessarily be your manager at work, but whatever the case might be, I want to guide against the spirit of lust. Number one, you must be careful, guide against the spirit of lust. And number two, uh, God might be assuring you quite okay, you are going to get married okay you're gonna get married but i also, also see something here that uh, i want to be very cautious of because they say where's your ring you're trying to join the marriage where's your ring and they have to borrow ring so please do not force yourself on anybody 
okay don't jump on any man you have to wait for the right time of god and let god get the right person for your life because from this dream it's like you try to push yourself on somebody and that's why you have to borrow the ring and the earring was used to pretend to be the wedding ring so that is the kind of going into a relationship that is not a proof of god that you might likely suffer what i call it, uh, disgrace or shame in the process so please avoid rushing anybody avoid rushing any man let go prepare the right man for you at a due cost don't rush into any relationship that might result to shame that is what this dream is saying be careful who you jump on god will help you lizzie from nigeria in jesus mighty name all right i picked the next dream and uh that's uh the one from uh is it christian christian from uh, usa you say greeting pastor i dreamed that uh lot of wild dogs were trying to force themselves through my damaged bedroom window and then uh, one dirty dog got into my room and when i tried to fasten uh, it least and it almost broke free but uh, i quickly pushed it back along with another dog that almost got in all right uh christine from usa uh, your dream here has to do with uh actually you are battling with uh what i call a uh, wild relationship i mean dangerous and tough relationship people coming around you at the same time trying to hurt you you must be very careful to protect the people i mean to guide against the kind of people that come around you because from this dream here it shows that you've been in a relationship before and you were wounded okay that's why you have a damaged uh, bedroom window you were wounded before by a relationship and now other ones are still trying to come in and those ones trying to come in are still not okay for you and you're trying to flush them out so you just need to be very very sensitive and be very careful the kind of people you allow into your life you know um, if you have what they call relationship crisis that's what your dream is all about relationship crisis and you have to be very careful okay god will help you the enemy will not get you and then the wrong people will not come into your life and bastardize your joy in jesus mighty name so that's your dream, Christian from USA. Watch your way and it shall be well with you. The second one also is from USA there. And Aneka, you say, Aneka from USA also. You say, greetings, man of God. Thank you. I saw my myself in a room wrestling with a spirit that was trying to attach itself to me. But it exploded when I squeezed its neck, killing it. And then I saw a big power print on the carpet, okay? Like uh, of, of a lion, okay? I walked downstairs and saw another big power print on the ground you know out uh, our door and garage door was slightly open and i couldn't understand how come all right when i looked outside i saw cob which was way smaller than that of the paw print on the ground a woman like a neighbor then come and shut the door from outside all right uh, anika uh, this dream has to do with actually some forces and powers that want to force their way into your life identify with you and let me tell you there are three spirits you must contend with from this dream one the spirit of aggression the spirit that uh, um, temperamental spirit you get aggressive you must fight that spirit number two you must also fight the spirit of lust from this dream and then number three you must also fight uh, a spirit and that's the spirit of uh, you know talking and exposing most of your secret that's why you see the door open you're wondering how the door open because when you talk too much of course you let out so much of your secret so you must be very careful from this dream I would suggest to protect your lips and then number two pray against the spirit of lust and number three pray against the spirit of aggression all right from what you saw here those lying on the things that are trying to force their way into your life spirit of anger spirit of aggression spirit of lust i mean spirit that also talks too much you need to fight them you know that is being loquatic so you must be very careful and i do trust that you will defeat those spirit at last god the holy spirit is going to rise to help you conquer them that's why the woman they has to be like the holy spirit and they will come in to help you to shut the door that is close to your lips don't let them enter because by opening the door, all kinds of things enter into your life. When you talk too much, talk anyhow, different kind of thing come into your life. So you must begin to breathe through your mouth, breathe through your tongue, caution yourself not to talk anyhow. The Bible says, he that keeps his mouth, keep his life. Okay? So don't just, your secret is your security. Don't expose your secret anyhow. And it will be well with you. Spirit of aggression, God will deal with it in your life. And then spirit of loss, God will fight it for you. And victory shall be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. So please learn how to caution your way and be extremely careful so you don't become victim of circumstance. The devil will not get rid of you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And then let me take the last one for this session. And I pick your dream, and that is uh Morgan. Okay, I pick a dream from Morgan. Morgan, you are also sending your dream from the United States of America, and you are telling me that please, man of God, what does it mean to regularly? cry in the dream all right you cry in the dream 
often please can you please tell me why do i cry in the dream all right uh for you to cry in the dream of course many things can cause this number one it could be a premonition it could be a premonition that something terrible is about to happen to you so whenever you have that kind of dream when you wake up you need to pray and say lord i forestall and i'm I, I revoke every evil plan, every tragedy, disaster targeting towards my life or family. So you pray against that, okay? So that can be one of the reasons why you cry in the dream. It's a premonition. Your spirit man is designing that something bad is coming. Then you pray against sorrow, pray against depression, pray against dejection. Any form of this that the devil might want you to break down your spirit, you have to pray against it. So that is why you are saying that. In your dream that you are crying so try to fight against that okay morgan all the way from united states the devil will not succeed in making you cry okay whatever is the plan of the devil to scatter your joy it will succeed in jesus name the lord will keep you and sustain you god bless you these are the ones i will take in this episode subsequent episode we continue with other ones who have sent me your dream don't forget if this is your first time on this channel subscribe to this channel you have dream bothering you just drop it under the comment section thank you for your comments that you have been sending in i do appreciate them it's encouraging okay god bless you once i interpret your dream is good you let me know how in this program is blessing you or you confirm some of the things i've said here and it will be so encouraging and inspiring god bless you i love you so much and one more time i say compliment of the season i see you in the next episode knowing what your dream means is vital to your safety bye for now i am paul s joshua Hey, why are you so glued to this book this morning? Won't you talk to me today? Princess, you won't understand. I have never seen a book like this before, giving me amazing insight to my nightmare and giving me the strategies on how to deal with some terrible dreams I do have. Oh, wait. Is, Is it your dreams, dreams that is adaptation by Pastor, Pastor Paul and Joshua? Yes, so. Wow, I have read it. No wonder. It's really an amazing book. Since I read it, I stopped having terrible nightmares and I learned how to understand and handle my nightmares. What are you waiting for? Get your, your dreams, dreams and interpretation. Interpretation by Pastor Paul S. Joshua. A book with insightful revelation on your nightmares. It also provides you with scriptural strategies to handle all your dreams. It provides solutions to swimming in the dream, dream wet dreams, dreams, eating with dead people, people, climbing mountains, mountains, and a lot more. Hurry, get your copy at the church location for retail and book purchase. Call 0803 440 0914. 0803 440 0914. Or visit www.refinershouse.com.